So when you're pitching MXDR, when you're pitching a new customer, are, are you always, uh, is MXDR always a part of that? Um, do you lead with it? Is it, is it later on in the process? Like what, what are some of the, the ways that you utilize your MXDR in, in the selling process? Yeah, you know, MXDR is really the best the best solution set for risk reduction. So most of the time, what customers are looking for is is risk mitigation, risk reduction, uh, as well as cyber resilience, right? So you're starting to see cyber resilience being mentioned more, and that's basically the ability to deal with cyber threats, uh, be able to respond to cyber threats in a in, in a cohesive fashion, as well as the ability to bring uh, you know incident response and bring services and operations back uh, in the event of, of, of a cyber attack. So really where XDR fits in is, is it's sort of, like I said, it, it sort of is the overarching uh, security service that uh, allows for uh, our partners to go out there and really reduce risk for, in their customer environments. And as I mentioned, you know, it's, you, you've got some of the best in class technologies out there today, uh, but it, if you don't configure them properly, you're not watching them, you're not taking the response actions properly, it doesn't matter how good that technology is, uh, it, it's not going to, uh, you know, reduce risk for the, for the customer environment. So. Uh, XDR really is 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 that lead-in uh, component in many scenarios. It's a, it's an uplift from existing MDR and the recognition of the value that that delivers uh, into extending detection and response across the the rest of the attack surface. 